what we do here is go back, 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 back. And welcome to Bulls TV. I'm Luna. And I'm Courtney. And here are your announcements for the week. On November 1st, SAD kicked off their holiday food and toy drive in partnership with Metropolitan Ministries in Pasco County. The drive will run until December 10th. They're collecting all non-perishable foods and toys for infants to teenagers. If you'd like to donate to help a family in need have the holiday they deserve, please bring in food or toys to one of the three drop-off locations around campus. They're located in the front office, Mr. Finkel's room in 4139, and Mr. Walker in Portable 11. Anyone can help, so please consider. Attention all male athletes. The boys wrestling team will be holding tryouts starting this Monday, November 8th at 245 at the high school wrestling room behind the gym. You must have all your paperwork and your Pasco County forms to participate. You will also need workout clothes and a bottle of water. Listen up, Bulls. There's some important club meetings that you won't want to miss. The class of 2024 will have a meeting for just the officers on Monday, November 8th in Mrs. Marecki's room 4101. Economics Club will also meet on Monday, November 8th at 2 p.m. in room 4111. Unity Club will meet on Tuesday, November 9th in room 3113 at 2 p.m. The Young Democratic Socialists of America will have its next meeting next week on Monday, November 15th at 2.15 in room 4157. Key Club meeting will be next Friday, 11-12, right after school in the ACE Learning Community Center. Don't forget your UNICEF a box, a new or gently used children's book, and a pencil. If you can't be there, please drop off your items in room 4137. Reporter Mara Fetcher caught up with Wiregrass Hockey during practice to find out how their season is going so far and what goes into making their team successful on the ice. Let's check it out. quite a few but I drink the same energy drink before every game and I tie my right skate first put my right glove on first stuff like that how do you train on and off the ice yeah on the ice it's a lot of uh, skating so I want to be a really good skater so I can move fast in the net and then off the ice I do a lot of legs like a vertical jump stuff like that do you feel at all that it's difficult to be a goalie yeah I definitely do um, I have good and bad days for sure but in the end of the day, it's always fun to be a goalie, so it cancels it out. What is your role as being captain on this team? Um, my role is kind of just to guide the younger kids into being seniors one day and helping them guide the next generation of players and help our team win as many games as we can. Um, how do you approach motivation with your players? Uh, well, one of the things is I don't, I don't, I try to just push them. I want to have them celebrate the game through how much I love the game. Um, whenever I coach and whenever I do it, I don't do it for myself. It's all about the players. It's really for them. Um, so the biggest thing is if I can teach them how to love the game and how to give back, um, that's really the biggest, biggest thing that we try to do. Uh, I've been on this team for almost five years now, so it's definitely like an experience. It's like a family. I really enjoy it. I definitely made some of my closest friends on this team. And I... What's your mindset like during the game? Uh, win. Do as best as I can. Uh, work as a team, definitely, because that's what we struggled with the most this year, I feel like. Uh, especially even though we played together for five years, it's still, it's still a struggle. Let's move! Come on, Nick, let's move! One of the biggest things that I like to try to coach during coaching is really how to get players how to deal with diversity, right? The biggest thing about players and especially everything that's going on in the world, um, dealing with adversity is one of the top things that I try to teach. Mistakes are going to happen, situations that aren't really ideal are going to happen, but it's how do you react to that, right? So in hockey, it's all about dealing with the different mistakes and how do you deal with the battle of the puck and how the puck, if it comes off your stick, what, what are you supposed to do about it? You're supposed to be ashamed that you lost the puck or work to get it back. So it's all about how to deal with adversity and working through it. Let's find out what's going on in sports with our resident athlete, Alex Santiago. Fall sports are wrapping up and spring season is underway. 
Caitlin O'Neill qualified for regionals and competed last week for the girls golf closing out their season. The girls and boys cross country teams also completed their season at the regional meet. Moving on to the state meet, qualifying as individual freshman Ava Schmidt. Good luck Ava. Here are the games this week. Monday, boys soccer has their season opener against Eastlake at home at 7 p.m. Tuesday, girls soccer has their open seasoner at Tampa Catholic. Wednesday, girls soccer plays at Lake Gibson and boys soccer plays at home versus Calvary Christian at 7 p.m. And Friday, boys soccer takes on Shortcrest Prep. Go Bulls! Thanks, Alec. All right, Bulls, that's all for now. See you next time on Bulls, Bulls TV. TV.